Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing Monsters and Memories. I am on Orgul, a level 1 or 2 gnome necromancer, and we were able to get a, a pretty full group to go around and, and kill in the fields of Night Harbor. I think that's the name of the place. <laughs> um so i'm gonna be straight with you it was a stress test it absolutely was and um like the the first hour was them getting everything sorted they finally opened up two extra servers and finally after an hour, we were able to find each other because this city is pretty big. And if you don't really know where you're going, then you don't know where your friends are. And uh, and so it, it took a while for us to, to finally meet up with each other. I kind of, at different times during the night, would disappear from my, my friend's who, who were still fighting or getting um, caught up in level uh, or whatever was going on so that I could try to get my spells or try to find my trainer um, because we kind of just went straight in and started fighting. And uh, I, I wanted to make sure I had some kind of understanding of where I could buy my spells, what spells were available to me. Um, which, talking about that, talking about the trainer, at least for the Necromancer, um, the one thing I think would be pretty cool is if you could sort your spells, like on the merchant, by level. Because they're all scattered throughout. So you kind of need to. It, it, actually, this is kind of fun for me. Because I'm one of those people who who likes the harshness of, of, of certain things in games. And it really isn't harsh. But it's something like, okay, I need to get a notepad and paper. Out, and I need to write these things down. Or a notepad on my computer, of course. And uh, write down, these are the spells I have. These are the spells I need to get. And um, that way, whenever you go back to your, your trainer, you know what you're looking for. Also, um, I wasn't thinking about how the money converted. So I was sitting on enough money for me to get my pet spell for a while. <laughs> so I, I I was kind of annoyed by that, but that was my fault. And um and so I, I ended up uh finally going and getting my, my pet spell later on. But by the time I went and got my pet spell uh, everyone else had said that, okay, we're getting pretty late in the night, let's explore. And so we just started hoofing it through uh, all the different zones in the game. Um, I think uh, my friends ended up getting like five zones in. Um, I think that, I, I forget, there was a zone that was uh, called Crystal something. And uh, the zone is going to have like crystal trees and things like that. Um, it's not fully fleshed out yet. Though, I mean, when if you go into the, the town, you'll absolutely see that it's not fully uh, fleshed out. It's uh, still got a lot of buildings that don't have skins, uh, that kind of thing. So it was a it was a really fun night. I I actually really enjoyed it, as busy as it was, and as much as you were fighting for mobs, we were able to keep a pretty good stream of mobs coming in. Whenever we were fighting, and uh, the fact that I had life tap like right off the bat, kind of allowed me to. 
off tank whenever it was needed. Like uh, you may have saw there, we had two beetles we were dealing with. Uh, oh, by the way, there's Zukin. He's one of the uh, one of the developers. We I actually I saw Zukin, Robert, and um. Oh, what's this? P uh, Paytas. Um, all three of them <laughs> at different stages of the night. It was pretty cool just seeing them in the game as different figures. Uh, Robert started out as a big, huge snake. Uh, I think Zukin uh, started out as this little guy, and then he ended up being a giant. And then um, I think I I saw a Paytas. I, I'm, I hope I'm saying that correct. Maybe I'm misremembering their name. Um, but uh, he had... Uh, he he was the undead king over in Necropolis, which is where the Necro and the Shadow Knights get their spells. It was also a really good newbie area. It was where there a lot of lower level mobs were. Like, if you... We're having problems in these fields because it, it it really is just sporadic mobs of different varying levels. It near the necropolis, a lot of the mobs were much lower levels. You could also find more skeletons spawning over there as well, and you do need bone chips for your pets, which I had never gotten any. <laughs> so when I did get my pet spell, I couldn't even cast it, but. Uh, one of my group mates had bone chips, so I was able to summon it, um, uh, and then we zoned and then <laughs> lost the pet because at this point it was more of just one of those things that I want to see what my pet looks like zone. <laughs> and then we, uh, we were off exploring. So I didn't actually get to kill with the pet. That's something that I plan to do um, during today's um, uh, run, which I th it should be pretty enjoyable again. Uh, once the servers go live, and the initial push, the initial having everybody on the server, I'm sure is going to be kind of as sporadic as it was uh, last night. But at least we know where things... Well, I know where things are because I pick up pretty easily on on where where things are. And I explored a lot. Um, and while everybody else uh, explored, I, I explored more than everybody else did, I think. Uh, so I have a pretty good understanding of where certain things are. Uh, also, uh, there were certain items that you could sell that uh, only the Shady Merchant would buy. Uh, but the Shady Merchant only comes out at night, which, by the way, night, as you'll notice, is very long. <laughs> it is a very long cycle. I think I think it's uh, something... It felt like 60... 60-40. 60% 60 of, of, the, of the time it was nighttime... 40% it was daytime. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, night times ran long, and depending on where you were, they went, they ran really dark. So it was kind of a good idea to try to get a torch early on, but they weren't cheap, so you, you didn't see a lot of um, people getting a torch. Also, one of the cool things that you kind of can't see in the video is is that um, uh, spell books. So spell books are a physical thing in this game. And uh, you start out with, I think it's just a, a journeyman's uh, or a newbie spell book. And I'm guessing that the reason that they did this is because later on you'll be able to get better spell books. Maybe they'll have more slots. Maybe they'll have more tabs. Uh, maybe it's for looks because of the fact that you can visibly see a spell book 
on my hip. I mean, you may not be able to see it right now because I am a gnome and it's harder to see. But if you look at uh, Dimaru right there as he's sitting on his hip is his spell book. Also, while you're medding, you need to open your spell book so that you can med. So the whole reason I'm bringing up the spell book thing is that when you die... Your spell book is on your corpse. <laughs> so you have to go get your corpse to have spells. Um it's it's not it's not like it is now, like in say EverQuest, where oh you died, at least you have your spells to, to back you up to try to get back to your corpse. No, <laughs> no, that's not a thing here. You, you're gonna have to probably have an extra spell book in the bank. For when you do die. Now, I, again, didn't make very much money. I think uh, the the um, the spell book that you could buy off of the uh, the spell merchant was like one plat. I, I may have gotten um, three or four gold the whole time we were we were playing. Uh, so... I, did, I, I didn't get to get that other spell book. So I don't know if I if I were to get that other spell book and then put my spell book that I'm currently wearing in the bank that if I put uh, uh, if I equip that one, if it's going to have my spells. So that's something where we're gonna have to see in the future. but uh, at currently I, I don't know. but that is something to worry about. <laughs> and um, early on, because of how crazy it was, they only had one server initially, and you're talking two or three thousand people logging into the game into one zone <laughs> and, and having three thousand people be in that zone. I was, I was pretty insane. So, um... First off, it was really jittery, and then they opened the other two servers, it became less jittery, but a friend of ours had died, and when he died, his corpse disappeared, or it wasn't visible, so he ended up having to remake his character because he didn't have a spell book anymore, uh, that kind of thing. It, uh, it ended up being a, a pretty eventful night <laughs> when it came to that kind of stuff. One of the funniest things I think I saw the whole time, which I wish I would have recorded, is uh, one of our friends, Flip, he uh, he ended up making an ogre monk, which I think in the first place is hilarious, but watching him feign death was the funniest thing, because it's odd in the first place. That that he that uh, an ogre can be a monk, but uh, also to then have um, have the the uh, uh, the the feign death effect. Which, by the way, it's pretty cool how they're how they have this set up. So I I again I didn't play any other classes, uh, but I felt like pretty early on. Um, the classes were getting spells that kind of represented their class. Monks got Feign Death and Mend at level 1. Um, I got my Life Tap and my, uh, and my Buff at level 1, but also whenever I went to my Spell Merchant, I got a Dot at level 1, I got Invis at level 1, I got Invis to Undead at level 1, I got Fine Corpse at level 1. I got uh, uh, Summon a Pet. Uh, I think Fear was either at level 1 or level 4. So early on, you're kind of getting the, um, the, the, the spells and abilities that kind of define your class uh, pretty quickly. Um, I mean, the fact that the monk can, can get Feign Death at level 1 is, is pretty insane. I don't know. Um, I've I've played I've, I've I've play tested other games. Uh, I was early on Embers Adrift. I kind I I enjoyed it whenever I first played it, 
but as it progressed and as it came to release which i i still feel to this day you can you can say it uh no it was or wasn't but i felt that they released way too early just so they can get to the point where they were getting the um getting their uh their monthly subscription when you pay, when you paid like i what was it like 30 to 60 uh, dollars to um, buy the game to get into early access so it, it from early access for me from early access in in the beta I felt there was no visible change from that to to uh, when it released and that's why I didn't continue with that game this game the whole time I was having fun when I found Necropolis, I was ecstatic. It looked really cool. It's within this town that has um, these really big, cool buildings. And the Necropolis, you, you look down this, this, uh, this area and you see at the end of it this building that that's, has this green hue that's lighting it up. And then as you're walking up to it, you see uh, skeletons and beetles and bats in the field. It, it was a, just really, uh, really cool to see. Uh, they also had like this temple in the back. So it looked like there was maybe a deity that uh, maybe later on you'll be able to subscribe to or do quests with that kind of thing. So it, it was a really fun um, uh, thing to explore the city. There was a lot of, I think it's called gray boxing. There's a lot of gray boxing still because it's, the city is huge. Um, but still with that, uh, just being able to see what the city is going to look like, at least in some form, was really, uh, really fun for me. Um I don't know. I'm just excited. I had a lot of fun. I had, I had no complaints about the actual gameplay. Once we got into the gameplay itself, uh, the, the, the classes that we were able to see the bard, uh, the cleric, uh, I think, uh, Nano played a, uh, paladin or a spell blade or something along those lines. Uh, it, it, all the classes that we had, it, it seemed like they were they were doing their job. The paladin, he was able to pull aggro off of everybody like instantly because he had provoke. Um, it didn't matter how much damage I did, um, I was I could chain cast and the mob would never come to me, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, guys, I, 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 I think I'm just repeating myself uh, just because of how much fun I did have uh, last night. And I'm really excited for tonight or today whenever we get to go back into the game. And I think everybody has kind of the same idea that we're going to try to concentrate on getting levels, maybe going and getting our newbie quests from our trainers. Uh, I kind of got my my newbie quest. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing though. I don't I don't know what what it is that they're asking me to get because I don't know where to get it. Um, but but there is a video that I can watch <laughs> because uh, uh, I think it was. Um, and I I I hope I'm saying his name correct again. Uh, let me see here. Um, yeah, Paytas. Paytas, um, did a video the other day, I think it was a Wednesday stream, where he was playing a necromancer, and I think he goes through, like, the quest line to get his robe, so I'm probably gonna watch that today before the, uh, before the servers go live, and try to complete that quest so that I can... I can get uh, at least that done. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. 
Hopefully you were able to get into the game and test it out and didn't get too frustrated with it because it, it, it was a stress test and the servers came down a few times, but Ali, who is um, also one of the v developers, was able to get everything back up and running. Ali, I, um, if, they, if they watch this or they don't, uh, did such a great job at, at getting things going uh, and and keeping keeping the servers uh, active and um, again uh, uh, just good ups to all of the developers um, of the game and and the fact that they're allowing us to do a play test at all this early into the game itself. So see you guys today. Hopefully you had fun. This is Cypher Dick. Peace out.